Hi, I'm Samaya, and you're watching African Diaspora News Channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the war on black hair. Today in America, it's not uncommon or abnormal to see any person wearing the natural hair that grows out of their head. That is, unless this person is black. When a black person wears their natural hair, people tend to panic in a way that me makes us feel like we should be uncomfortable or that we should change. In African tribes, people can be recognized by the way their hair is styled. Hair pieces and hairdressings have always indicated a status quo in a certain community. We always see this trend commute. We always see this trend continuing in the way African people adopt a hairstyle to convey their mood or symbolize a celebration. Due to this trend, it was common for slaves to have their heads shaved because they didn't want us to have any type of connection to our roots. And enslaved women often had to wear head wraps so that they would be distinguished as a black woman because they were so fair skinned. And let's not forget the belief that the length of someone's hair was also the, the, their connection to God. So we showed up over here and they, they cut our hair off so we wouldn't feel powerful anymore. After the, abol after the abolishment of slavery, the pressure of black people to assimilate into the white person's society caused us to want to change our hairstyles and change the way that we view ourselves. Soon, the natural afro became a sign of rebellion as we're telling these people that we don't want to look like you, we don't have to look like you, we're happy with who we are, and we know that we're beautiful in our natural state. Today, we see a similar rebellion when it comes to the right to wear our natural hair in society. Growing up, I remember being told how much prettier straight hair was and how much easier it was to manage and a lot of the women in my family themselves actually wore weaves and they straightened their hair. And that's how I grew up for the longest. I grew up for the longest wearing perms and having my hair straightened. But as I got older, I realized that my natural hair is something that's very beautiful and I need to learn to embrace it. I have to love myself because at the end of the day, this is just a society telling me that who I am needs to change and that's not how it is. Many Americans are hair bias. Even when shopping, the bias is obvious because you can go in a store and you can see that the hair products for black women are locked up on display and everybody else's hair products are just easy. You can grab and go. They're looking at us as if we don't even deserve the things that are meant for us. Our professionalism is under attack more because black people fear pressure to change their hair to fit into a workplace and strict dress codes at schools enforce children to follow certain laws that have nothing to do with them receiving education. This country doesn't want to see our proud roots. They want us to look like them, feel like them, be miserable like them, but black people, we have to stand up and stand in our unity and be who we are. Look at the way majority of beauty supply stores are owned but anyone but black people. The products in these stores are being targeted to be sold at black women, but the, the people that run these businesses are, black, are not black people. How can you tell me that this is what's best for us to change our look and to change our style when the people that are behind these establishments are not even black women or black men themselves? It's hard to be in America and feel like everything you do is being watched, especially the way that you decide to style your hair. We live in a country that tells us we can't be black in any type of way. You can't wear your hair black, you can't look black, you can't be black. If you do, like, you'll die. Today in America, we're facing a real problem where it's becoming a trend for black people to lose their identity. They want to look like us and we want to look like them. They wanna look like us. Like, why are we trying to be something that we are not when we are clearly the prototype? We are the natural beauties of this world. Straight hair is not beautiful. The natural hair that grows out of your head is beautiful. And they're trying to tell us that this natural hair that grows from who we are is far from beautiful because they don't want us to be proud of our own roots. They want us to feel like we have to be a different race. Regular people in America can go into any establishment and they can have their hair styled any type of way. Me, myself, I have to 
think twice before I go to a job interview or before I walk into a certain type of establishment. Like, will this hairstyle be appropriate? Like, that's not fair to me. It's not fair to me that I have to look at this society in a way that I'm being judged for wanting to be myself. Our individualism as a black community will never be accepted in a society where we are only rewarded if we look like somebody else. The main black women that we see in, in the spotlight today, a lot of them are altered, I shall say. They have different body parts and different body hair. This is not the natural black woman. They're trying to turn us into something that we are not. And when we show them that this is who we are and this is who we are going to be, it makes them very uncomfortable in a way that they still want us to change. We should have the rights to wear our hair any way we please, just as any other person in America. It doesn't make sense that everything a black person does is just so critical to this country that they have to change our roots that deep that they want us to completely look and be something different. America was never meant to be a country to justify and uplift black people. As long as we stay here in this country, they're going to continue to try to tell us to be something that we're not. And this is something that needs to change. You've been watching African Diaspora. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.